Well, how's it going, everyone? I hope you're doing well. I hope your day is going great. I hope your day is going very well. It's almost towards the evening and a Wednesday night. Wow. Wish I knew what people were doing now. Wish I knew what was going on with people. So give me some feedback, all right? Need that feedback, all right? Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you could, my YouTube channel at Andrew Westbury 1126. Don't forget to like and comment if you would. Need as many subscribers as I can get. So today, I'm going to start out by talking to the mature ones out there, the mature men and women, not just for teenagers, not just for kids, for you folks too, right? What I don't recommend is trying to crack a cold one on your forehead. But what I do recommend right here with the Mountain Dew, hang on, I want to get it on myself. And yeah. Back up a cold can of Mountain Dew. Alrighty then, that tastes superb. Brings out the teenager in me. So, what else could I say? Ah, uh, you don't want the ladies backed away from your garlic breath, do you? Don't mean to offend the ladies, but you could use this too. Anybody could use this crest toothpaste with a flip cap on it. Deep clean. Can't beat this one. Maybe you could, but I wouldn't try. Unless you get your own toothbrush, alright? So, some topics we could talk about today. The Ouija board. And like I brought up last time, a complete list of loyal love and the scriptures. We'll talk about a few things in between, too. Alright, why don't we start out with talking about the Ouija board. Is it okay to use the Ouija board to consult it? I've heard some reports about it from people using it in real life, not just a movie. They say they don't use it too much. Well, should we use it at all? Well, let's go to the King James Authorized Version first. King James Authorized Version. And we'll look at Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 10 through 12. Let's see what it has to say. Let's see what God's Word, the Bible, has to say. I know some people prefer other versions of the Bible. So, Deuteronomy, let's see here. Oh, am I a Deuteronomist? Well, I don't know about that. People ask me, are you a Deuteronomist? I don't even know that's a word. I don't know. I don't think I'm a Deuteronomist. I'm a whole Bible person. <laughs> All right. Make sure we got the right book of the Bible here, Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verses 10 through 12. Page uh, 195 out of the King James Authorized Version. It says, There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, leaven, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer, or necromancy. Verse 12, for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord, and because of those, these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. Right, that's 1200 English. Let's move on up to 1600 English. Also, the 21st century English. All right, 2000, excuse me, 2013 revision, the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. Getting all those THs in my words from the 1200 is messing me up today. So, we'll try to clear that up. Deuteronomy chapter 18, if you want a fresher perspective on this. It says, There should not be found in you anyone who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire, anyone who employs divination, anyone practicing magic, anyone who looks for omen or a sorcerer, anyone binding others with a spell, anyone who consults a spirit medium or a fortune teller, or anyone who inquires of the dead. For whoever does these things is detestable to Jehovah, and on account of these things 
the detestable practices, Jehovah your God is driving them away from before you. All right. So there's your answer there, basically. There's other parts in the Bible that say why you shouldn't do that. Let's go to uh, Zechariah a little bit towards the end of the first half of the Bible, of the Hebrew Aramaic scriptures. Zechariah chapter 10, and verse 2. I might have to explain a few things here if you don't already have the background knowledge, but it's on page 1294 of the New World Translation. Zechariah 10 verse 2, for the terror from statue, in other words, the idols that you use, or whatever you venerate or worship, have spoken deception, and the diviners have visioned a lie. They speak about worthless dreams, and in vain they try to comfort. That is why they will wander like sheep. They will suffer, for there is no shepherd. Alright, so just like Jeremiah 14, 14 says, and don't listen to other people's prophecies. Only listen to the prophecies coming from God. God is the only one that can foretell in advance that far, predict that far in advance. No human can do that. All right. So keep in mind Jeremiah 14, 14. I'll let you look that up in your own time. And about dreams, I wanted to read to you Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 1. Here it says, in case a prophet or one who felt, one who foretells by dreams arises in your midst and gives you a sign or a portent, and the sign or the portent about which he spoke to you comes true while he was saying, let us walk after other gods, gods that you have not known, and let us serve them. You must not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer, for Jehovah your God is testing you to know whether you love Jehovah your God with all your heart and all your soul. So that's Deuteronomy 13, 1 through 3. All right. Just to answer your question a little bit. But we shouldn't be afraid of the spirit realm. You know, as long as you don't do that what they want you to do, there's no chance of them harming you or trying to harm you. We do have Jehovah's protection. Anything could happen tomorrow, you know, we could be dead tomorrow based on an unexpected event, as Ecclesiastes says. But the Bible also says, fear not those that kill the body, but cannot destroy the soul. It says in another part, fear not those that kill the body, but after that can do nothing further. Okay. But you know why? Because Job has power to resurrect people. He has power to give them back their lives. And not only that, let them live forever. So... Don't worry about the one that put a gun to your head and pulled the trigger, right? Not even the police, right? So, how about this list of loyal love? I'm sure you're just waiting for that one. Really, seriously. I don't mean to sound sarcastic or anything. All right, here's the loyal love. Do I have it in here? All right. How do you like my rainbow color? Notebook. Anyway. Loyal love. Start out slowly. You can try to write these down if you care to. All right. All right. Exodus 34, verse 6. 34, verse 6. Numbers 14, verse 18. Deuteronomy 7, verse 8. 7, verse 8. Ruth 1, verse 8. Chapter 2, verse 20. First Chronicles sixteen thirty four, chapter sixteen verse thirty four. Second Chronicles seven verse three, chapter twenty verse twenty one. Ezra chapter three verse eleven. Chapter nine verse nine nine verse nine. Nehemiah. 9 verse 17. 9 verse 17. Psalms. Psalm 13 verse 5. Chapter 30, stanza 5. Chapter 36, stanza 7. Chapter 52, stanza 8. Chapter 78, stanza 38. 
Chapter 7 is Dan of the 38. Chapter 86, Dan of the 7. The scans are 5, excuse me. 103 is Dan says 8, 9, 11, 17. Chapter 103 is Dan says 8, 9, 11, 17. Chapter 106, Dan is a 1. 44 and 45, all those stanzas. Chapter 107, stanza 1. Chapter 130, stanza 7. Chapter 136, stanzas 1 through 26. Stanza 145, as a chapter, I mean stanza 6. Don't mind me, just I'm helping you out. Colon separates the two. 145 stands at 8. Chapter 147 stands at 11. Isaiah chapter 54 stands at 8. Chapter 55 stands at 3. Chapter 63 verse 7. Jeremiah chapter 31. Verse 3 and 20. 3 and 20. Lamentation. Lamentation. Chapter 3, verses 22 and 32. 22 and 32. Hosea, chapter 6, verse 6. Joel, chapter 2, verse 13. Jonah, chapter 4, verse 2. Micah, 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 chapter 7, verse 18, 1st Peter, 1st Peter, chapter 5, verses 6 and 7. So obviously there are folks that were reading a lot of a lottery numbers, right? I don't know what your winning numbers are or what to tell you, but you wouldn't be getting money from this. I don't mean to annoy you. Sorry, folks, but be getting to be the winner spiritually speaking help you win in your spirituality. So, what else can I give you? Oh, you know that song that, that I sang for you the other day in a separate video called Our Weapons of Warfare? Well, I think it may have the scripture that was based on right here at my fingertips. Excuse me. Psalm chapter 18 verse 34. Chapter 144 stands at 1. Psalm, again, the same book of the Bible. Chapter 94 stands at 10 and 11. Chapter 107 stands at 20. Psalm, chapter 80 stands at 16. Psalm, chapter 80 stands at 16. And here's a favorite topic. It seems to be a topic that might be common in the United States or even around the world today, definitely in this area. <coughs> I don't mean to say too much, but uh, here's a certain subject notation I wrote down. It says, do not listen to those who reveal bedroom details, okay? Do not listen to those who reveal bedroom details. Proverbs 12, verse 8, chapter 13, verse 3, chapter 16, verse 29, chapter 17, verse 4, chapter 30, verse 20, chapter 30, verse 20. Would you like me to read just one of those? Proverbs chapter 12, verse 8. It might be a good idea. So you're getting ready to hear lightning or something, like a thunder crack or something. But wake up, people. All right. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 8. A man is praised for the discretion of his mouth, but one with a twisted heart will be treated with contempt. 
That's one of them. I know. Hmm. The ladies are looking at me like, oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. Look, it's so round, so out there. I mean, look, so big, she's so fat. I like big butts that I cannot like. No, I can't do that one. That would be belonging to Sir Mix a lot. That baby got back. Dun, 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 dun. Call me a nut if you want to, but I like to ham it up sometimes. I like to be sarcastic, not too much. Not to the point of hurting people's feelings. Just around the belt, good natured, fair, funny kind of guy, you know, without insulting people if I can help it. Well, I think I'll leave you with that for right now, and I'll try to think of some more topics next time. Be there, or be square. Know what I mean, bud? Know what I mean? All right. And uh, I'll let you go for right now. Uh, all right. Bye, everybody.